what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Several youth basketball players beat the hell out of a referee following a basketball game in Georgia over the weekend. And the violent kicking and punching was all captured on video. The alarming scene went down Sunday at Stronghold Christian Church in Lithonia, Georgia, when following a contest on the floor, multiple players from one of the teams went after one of the game's refs. Fam, it was madness. You can see in the video from the scene, a couple of young men chased after the guy in the striped shirt, who for a few seconds appeared to be defending himself very well. But eventually, there became too many people involved in the attack, and the guy appeared to be brutally beaten on the floor. Footage shows that the man was kicked and punched in the face repeatedly before his attackers finally let up. No word if the referee sustained serious injuries, but a spokesperson for the DeKalb County Police Department said an investigation is underway. You know what's crazy, fam? Besides this incident, I was just having a conversation with a longtime family friend who happens to be a youth sports referee. And I was joking with him about giving my nephew favorable calls because my nephew had just played a game and, and my, you know, his, his, my brother was like talking about how the family friend wasn't giving him calls. And I was like jokingly threatening him, like, you know, we, we'll come get you, you know, we will whoop a referee, you know. That's crazy. And when I said it, I actually acknowledged that, you know, we joking, but it ain't far fetched, you know, people will whoop a referee these days. That stuff used to be unheard of. Man, ain't no limits now. I mean, ain't nothing respected. And fam, this happened at a church. Ain't nothing sacred. People don't even think, it's like, boo, how you gonna go whoop the referee? It's like, is anything in your mind that says, this is a bad idea. It wasn't one, it wasn't two, it wasn't three. It was a gang of them approaching the referee. Nobody said, wait a minute guys, it sounded like a good idea at first, but this is a bad idea. So you know what's gonna happen. The whole team, that whole organization is about to be pretty much kicked out of whatever league they're playing in. The whole organization. It's sports. You gotta be able to take the bitter with the sweet. You gotta be able to take the bad calls with the good calls. I mean, I feel for the, the people who participate in sports who get bad calls, because some referees are just horrible. I mean, they have no business calling games. But that's just how it goes, fam. You know, sometimes you just get bad referees. Same thing in boxing. Richard Steele is notorious for being a bad referee. Made all kinds of calls that was premature, stopping fights. Ooh, man. Costing people all kinds of livelihood. But beating them up, I mean, I can understand maybe like getting them on the side or whatever, you know, catch them on the side. But in the rain, and like post competition with in front of everybody, come on, fam. That ain't how it go. That's just not how it goes, fam. I don't know what to say. Like these youngsters who behave that way, 
They didn't get that by themselves. They got it from their mamas and daddies. If they didn't see their mamas and daddies doing it, they did it because mom and daddy was just present, was just absent altogether. So they didn't have an example on how to behave, how to act civil. Many of them, they just don't have any boundaries. Cuss out old people, swing on old people, swing on the referee, swing on the teachers, swing on the principal, swing on everybody but the white man. Yeah, I said it, I said it, yeah, yeah. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. How quick are you to swing on your own people? Scared of that white man. Straight up coward. Straight up brainwashed coward. And you get that from your mom and daddy too. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.